right, y'all. So it looks like Basic and Cold World joined the Kumar trend. What is the Kumar trend, bro? I done missed out on a lot. What's going on? So we finna check this out, y'all. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and all that. But let's see what this is. But not too worse for wear. And we're seeing BTK kind of on the back foot here right now. And is this going to come down to the patience of both of these teams? We were talking about it before. I mean, you know, especially when it comes to the late game, you don't want to be making as many mistakes. You want to kind of keep it very precise. And I want to say right now, Sleepy are uh, doing a good job of, of trying to create that pressure on some of these side lanes. No, huh? The answer to R right now is definitely Mielo. Mielo has oh, to be shit. the one to kind of put pressure on R. Oh my god, the damage wow. on two members. Basic and Cold World instantly deleted. Taken off the map. Night Horde, find a moment. 30 second death counters up. They're going to push it onto this tier two and take more control in the land of dawn. I'm, I'm shocked at just how quickly they were able to destroy Basic and Cold World and dust them as they checked that push there. And that's down, they got to go for a cheeky steal or something here. But I mean, to be fair, they probably both shouldn't have walked in and checked the bush together. That was crazy. But, I mean, yeah, you should let the let the roam go first. That way you can, two people walking into a bush with no vision is wild. Damage from Sleepy oh. is starting to come out. Quack. He does get stunned up. Holy Baptism a lot used just to take out Sleepy Lord. Down to about 70% now. Both, or no, BTK actually up five to four. Yellow trying to zone them, zone them away, but the damage is insane onto him as well. Night Horde to get it back off, but Wave's still coming down the boss side. BTK got to do something about this. Yeah, I mean, there, there, there's waves crashing in at the bottom, which means that the time for BTK is a very limited. They still have a very dominated presence at the Lord, and they're Bruh. still able to zone out the Night Lord. And the time is definitely now. Yellow may go down for this one. Mortality pops. Get ready for the full barrage. And here they go. Nicolette taking off the map first, along with Miello. BTK unable to withstand the barrage of Night Horde. Yeah, and right now, R just having the game of his life right now. 3-0 and 4. You wouldn't know it from the stats, but he is able to open up onto BTK. Now forcing their way into the core. All R's got to do is lock on. Minions do come out in the nick of time, but R is unloading basic. Unable to do anything about it. Moba Zane, unable to do anything about it. Cold World, unable to defend. Night from R right now. We're entering the 20-minute sleeps in trouble. Ooh, a lot of damage on a sleepy, but they got to get back to base quick. The Lord is already oh. almost there. Uh oh, Manon Sphere does come out. Full barrage flicker, but there is a lot wasted there. Can they clear it out? No, they're locked out of the base. Wow. And that is it. A great way to finish off the season. Night Horde showing that the playoffs will not be free for anybody. <laughs> that was a good game. That was a good game. I'm still not, not really caught on to what the whole little Kumar trend is. So let me know what's going on with that, y'all. But there we have it. You should have dropped that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And yeah, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.